Hello, and welcome back to I, the Somnium Files. Uh, a lot of stuff happened in the last one. But, ma the, the, the main thing I remember was uh, Iris. We took her along with the investigation. Well, we met her. And uh, th then we took her home and found out that that's the home from our dream. So, that's... Uh, that's about it. We haven't, we haven't figured out anything about the murder yet. But we're heading back to HQ, and I hope... <laughs> I hope that it starts from the beginning of it. Because I, I had to go into it to save. I, I think... I think it does. Oh, you're gonna give us a recap? Well... I mean, it's... It's kind of a recap. Okay, so it starts as before. Good. I watched like half a second, so. Yeah. Welcome back. I brought her here after her examination was over. Is Mizuki awake? Mizuki. <clears throat> Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Hmm. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Sync with her. What? S sync with her? Okay. Well, this is new. Oh, there's, uh, what was the name? Pewter? Ooh, we can look around. A locker! Searching. Classic. Alternative. Progressive. Music. That's rock. Uh, monitor? Strange strings of characters and figures scroll across the monitor. Okay, that this one's off. There's nothing on the monitor. Date, look. TRT monitor. It's the girl from that horror movie coming out of the well. What the hell are you talking about? The ring. <laughs> I bet people don't even remember. A lot of people don't remember it. Oh, I didn't read that. It wasn't important. I opened it up. It's completely packed with books. They're all homoerotic BL mech manga and gay romance novels. Interesting, Pewter. Interesting. You do you? A metal shelf placed along the wall. Interesting. Interesting. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional <coughs> wrestling. Now where on earth did you learn that? Well, it's true. Locker in the corner. I'm checking the edges first. I can't turn that far. There's a binder. Binder full of papers. Looks like the manual for the sink ma machine. Yep, yep, yep. Uh, Double clicking. Door. The door to the sink room. Such interesting content, right? <laughs> Oh, any progress on the investigation? You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Well, it was an Maybe option. Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? Yep. Maybe. Or... Are you sure you want to do this? We could if ask we her. don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Well, uh, yeah, maybe she's traumatized. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Uh, I would assume. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. You're the only one who can. 
We're getting all super sci-fi-y. Did you get Renju's permission? Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... I don't know. He's... It's always the husband. He was the killer. Maybe. Boss is watching Mizuki through the glass. You sure this is okay? She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. You kind of sound like Shido. How's Mizuki doing? Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. Uh, about Aiba. Hey, Pewter. About Aiba. Could you do something about her personality? She's fine. Do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike? If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eye socket. Oh. Huh. <laughs> so you were listening, huh? That's Pewter. His real name is Amano... Amanoma? But he goes by Pewter here. 36 years old. He's a member of Abyss, like me. He's a genius engineer that designs... Designed the sync system and other machines. He also invented Aiba. He's her caretaker, in a way. There's an enormous machine beyond the window. This machine is known as the sync machine. I'll look at her first. She's lying in the sink machine on the other side of the glass. I'll try talking to her. She can't hear me from here. Okay, do I click here? Sir, uh, will you tell me how to get down? That was just a chair. That door? Um... Do, does anyone, does anyone, the door to the sink room, does anyone know how to get down there? Hello? What am I missing here? Oh! He didn't have another option last time. I guess I had to look we at it and ready talk to, to him begin. Again. Okay. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. Now I feel stupid. Agent Date, Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She mm. may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you. But she can hear you. Try talking with her. Sure thing, boss. Hmm. Look at her. Oh, it's the same. About Abyss. Suzuki, I've never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. There are a billion kinds of suspects and voice persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything. People that have head injuries or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. About the sink. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, You'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. Uh... <clears throat> so here's what's gonna happen. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that. We will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Sink. 
Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnia. It's Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. I have questions, but I will wait. When this is all over. Hey, Mizuki. When this is all over, what should I say? Uh, let's get some of that stew you like. Get sushi, ramen, or unagi. I don't know what she... Well, she, she likes... This is the only one that actually says get something you like. Unless she lies about liking it. I don't hey, know if this actually matters. remember when we went last time? You were laughing about how it looked like throw up, but it oh. tasted so good. You were devouring it. You kept saying it looked awful, but you loved it. Do you not have a more heartwarming story, or? I'm sorry, I'm really mm -hmm. bad at this. Date, her heart okay. rate is steadying. EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. Okay. Oh, and special agent, I forgot to mention one thing. I added a new feature to the sync system. A new feature? You'll learn more when you're synced. It's very useful. Sure, got it. Uh, this is pretty cool, though. I thought we were just gonna, like, be in his dreams only. Okay. Ready any time. Remember, Date, you have only six minutes in the Somnium world. Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. Oh boy. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. We're counting on you. Well then, let's begin. Six minutes? I don't like time things. I'm no good at time things. Still playing as Iba? Fluorescent shrimp. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is this Bloom Park? Lightning in a birdcage. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. Move Ooh, fast, or time is going room. to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Oh. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed. So it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? It has to do with relativity, right? Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan! Well. Activate! Mental lock number one. Mental lock number two, the actual cage. Three, get to Mizuki. I'm guessing. 
Heal Mizuki's heart. Mizuki is mute. By healing her mental, mental wounds, you may be able to get important information. Infor to reach Mizuki, something info. must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. And I guess it was raining that day, mm -hmm. so in her mind. An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. Why is it shaking? Is it supposed to be shaking? Iba, the speaker over there. It's shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. Okay. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. There's a six minute time limit. Time is expended whenever Aiba is moving or performing an action. Pay attention to the remaining time left in the upper right of the screen. Unlock all mental locks within the 360 second time limit. Oh, it moves real slow when you're not moving. An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. Oh, it takes time to do everything? Oh, and I get items. Um. Push in. Date, are you certain? Will this heal Mizuki? I don't know. Just try it. No, I don't think it will. Understood. Come on, move. Just wasted time. No good, huh? Mizuki is still a child. The solution may be simpler than you think. Simple, maybe, but this is a dream. Not everything goes how you expect. Well. Shoko's photograph has an ice pick stabbed through it. Right. Said one of two. No one would that? want to see their mother like this. Yeah, this this is normally what you would do. So I thought it was going to be the opposite of what you would do. It keeps going. What is this? Weird. Something happened over there. Oh, we already dealt with the lightning that way, huh? Made a lightning rod. Huh. The pillar became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. I wonder if this game's uh, supposed to be hard. Date, we got a timey. A timey? Time induction matter in encephalon. You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time insomnia. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. Hmm, timies are items that affect time. You will sometimes obtain them when you perform an action. Timies only affect the time taken to perform an action. You're able to hold three timies at a time. Picking up a timey when you already hold three will replace one. Timeys are expended after one use, but use them as often as you can. Oh, I have options. Blow the birdcage away or remove it. This appears to be the microphone for the speaker. This, this gives... Oh, that gives one-fifth time. What is it? Slows time to one fifth? Um. Shout. Ah! Oh boy. Stop it! Yeah! Stop it already! I don't think I did anything. <laughs> The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. Okay, um... Open? What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Yep, got it. Oh.
was gonna say, if Date was actually playable, I could push the thing back down. What is going on here? I didn't expect to here? see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. Okay. A photo and a bunch of balloons with, uh... What are you? A leaf? Um... I think a photo is going to be more valuable. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Uh... Tackle. All right. Sure. How's this? It's heavy. Okay, that didn't work at all. Minus 35 seconds. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper and... It's it's heavy, so like all oh, you can subtract a fifth of the time. I want to peek inside. So let's see. What is it? It looks like a picture. That didn't help at all. Why why did I think that that would be any a different? A bird cage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Could you please not call it a rubber? You can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Please. Okay, now. <laughs> Time to 30. Oh. Okay, so something... Sure, let's, let's lift this. this that should make it easy. only 30 seconds Glad instead of 55. What? Oh. But it was so heavy. I guess we did it. But nothing happened. Oh? What is this? A deflated balloon. Retry will allow you to re return to a save point just before unlocking a mental lock. But you only have three retries. Going back one lock costs one, and going back two costs two, and going back three co three locks costs all three. You regrain, regrain them. <sighs> Words. When you hit restart, uh, or by failing the sink. Your best option at times. A low. deflated rubber. Agent Dante, I told you, please call it a balloon. Shh. What are you getting so worked up about? Uh. Blow up. Understood. It's huge. Well, I wish your boobs were that big. Are you serious? Dante. Those are obscenely large for a human. Well, I suppose I am not technically human. So... Date, please, be quiet! We're trying to help a kid with severe mental trauma. Ah! Perhaps the balloon was the key. I remember now a story I heard from Mizuki a while back. One time, when Mizuki was just a little girl, Shoko bought her a balloon. It was one of the nice helium ones. But the string slipped through her hand. The balloon sailed up into the sky. Shoko snapped. She scolded Mizuki for hours. Maybe that's why. Mizuki puts the balloons inside the birdcage. That way, they could never fly away again. But I guess Aiba and I made her relive that up in right. memory. Now that the birdcage is off, let's get Mizuki. Do you not see the horses spinning at hurricane speeds? If you stop time, you can go in, right? But I cannot stop time while I'm moving. 
Oh, yep, right. Good. Guess we gotta figure out how to stop it from spinning. Selecting the map icon will bring up a map of the current Somnium world. Investigate your current location and objectives you've uh, investigated. If you're lost and wa or want to save time, try checking the map. Alright, well, we've checked the microphone and that. This just lets you... I see... Well, it said the panda head was like... Uh, well, it showed the panda head when it said that. But I think that's where I'm supposed to go. So, we we'll go the other way first. The parasol is spinning freely. Wait, this seems way more related. Uh... Stop. Leave it to me. Oh, working? it's hot. Okay. I do not think force is the answer here. Well, we're in a dream. Let's try breathing on it. Girl skirt. Okay. Silence, Date. <laughs> wow. Oh. What is this? Merry go rounds can fly. Date, over there. Uh. Wait, hold up. I, I didn't check the panda head. God damn it. Iris? Why? Why is Iris... Oh. She appears to be frozen. What the hell is going on? <coughs> what is this? Shut up! Shut up! Shut up! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! Why do you never keep quiet? Is this fun for you? Giving your mother a hard time? Okay, I don't Better think uh, I like Shoko. Please stop! I'm sorry! Why are you here? I'm sorry! I'm sorry! If you weren't here, everything would be fine! I'm hmm. sorry! Apologizing means nothing! Say something! Don't make me into the bad guy. But... What's that look, huh? No! I'm sorry! I'm sorry! It's all your huh. fault. You... You... I wish you had never been born! Mizuki's voice. You get the, the worst mom award. Likely. Damn. What's going on here? Iba, look out! What? And it's back. I was about to become a pancake. Good thing this isn't yeah. a bed and breakfast. Oh my that god. That frozen iris does intrigue me. But Mizuki first. Let's get to Mizuki while the merry-go-round is stopped. You choose the correct answer as your final action. You can actually exceed the 360 second timeout. Time limit. Even if it seems like you don't have a lot of time, don't give up. You might be able to do it. We're, we're fine on time. Hmm, more than one second. When you clear, you get a prize. Uh, no boss. Anything but that. I mean, I, I have lots of time. Where, where was Frozen Iris? Wasn't she under the Ferris wheel? Where the hell did the panda bear go? Whoops! I should be setting this to full screen. It's on borderless and I just clicked out. Yeah, no, uh, the, the panda seems to be gone. Well. You have three minutes, Dante. I <sighs> know. A merry-go-round horse. You punched it? Nothing is happening. Okay. Poor horse. Don't 
give me the option to punch it. Now, that thing that... Oh my god. <laughs> the thing they mentioned... Can I check that? No, in the log. Uh, there were... Nope. Nope. It's not here. You know what? There you go. We got we got time. I'm going to make this 13 seconds. I think the secret thing is. Oh, that face! Is it fun? That Does it is. Look fun? Oh God! You look cute like that. No. Oh, I see. <laughs> so. I don't know. We'll, we'll we'll do this. It's Mizuki. I know I'm missing something now. Uh, wow, you can really reduce that. Uh, one seventh. Speak kindly. Mizuki, can you hear me? We will protect you, Mizuki. We will always be there for you. So, it's all right now. Did I choose the right thing? Hey, do you think we can use that speaker? Maybe she needs to hear her mother's voice. Not what she said. I am so glad that you were born. So, so glad. Oh. Rain stopped. Hey, do you hear something? Is that a phone ringing? Where? Where's it coming from? Um, Date, don't! You can't stay any longer! What? Oh. I thought- I thought they said I have more time. Okay, we healed her. Awaken. Pain, mother, Blood and secrets. Hmm. I guess we did it. I feel like I missed a, a few things there. K Kate? 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 I... I wonder if those titles have anything... Relevant. Are you okay? Did we fix you? Mizuki. She hasn't been healed. She's still traumatized. Did I make a mistake? Do I go back? Iba, call Iris's phone. It's urgent. Why the rush? Wait, is there branching Please, paths? Just call. Hello? This is Konami Tate from the MPD. I met you earlier today. Oh, she wouldn't forget. Oh, Date! Is something wrong? Where are you right now? Um, I'm at home. Okay, don't go anywhere. Lock the door and stay at home. Can you tell me why? Who cares why? This is a direct order from the police. You mean a personal order? Okay. 
But if I do, will you play Shovel Forge with me tomorrow? No. <laughs> then go on a date with me. A it's date? Worse. If you promise me we'll go on a date, I'll stay home and not say a peep. If what? you don't promise me, then... I'll leak your video. I'll wander around the city dragging a heavy suitcase. Oh. <sighs> All right. Understood. Understood? Great. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Fine. Just don't go outside, okay? If anything <sighs> happens, call me immediately. My number is... I have it in my history. See ya. Yep. You're screwed now. What was that? A phone call? It's nothing. Oh, I can't turn. Where? There you are. I'll talk to you first. About Somnium. In a normal dream, the person experiencing the dream cannot remove themselves from it. Mm -hmm. Dreams are first-person experiences. However, the circumstances are slightly different during a sink. Okay. The sinker dives into the subject's mind and experiences their subconscious thoughts. But this dream is experienced as an observer, as though you were watching a play. The subject is the author, director, and actor. The sinker is merely the audience. You're Sean Chiplock. Oh, how did I not hear that before? He's like my favorite. Ah, the corpse you saw in Somnium. You're wondering if that was some kind of vision of the future. Yeah, that's right. Well, let's see. As a man of science, I don't believe in such things. Prophecies and the like. However, if it was a prophecy, I would suggest the girl wear some kind of metal plate. Huh? You saw her. She was stabbed countless times in the back. She could have used some stab-proof armor or something. Can you see or did we tell you that? <laughs> Just indulging in the fantasy of real-life prophecies. <laughs> Suspicious. Don't mind me. Anyway, prophecies are simply not possible. True. You see? Huh. About the ringtone I heard. I know about the ringtone you heard. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Did Mizuki actually hear that? Or was it just a dream? Or her imagination? That's what I'm trying to find out. Can you analyze mm. the sound or something? Unfortunately not. Okay, well... Yeah. But what I saw... No need to report specifics. We saw it all from here in the control room. What the sinker sees in Somnium is projected here, remember? We've got it all recorded. Okay, you're less suspicious now. <laughs> Isn't it incredible? I invented it. So, we know about everything you saw. The phone, the frozen corpse... Alright, about the ringtone. Boss, I heard a ringtone in Mizuki's Somnium. I know. A pretty generic ringtone. But I couldn't tell where it was coming from. Yeah. I don't even know if it's real or something Mizuki invented. But if Mizuki really did hear that ringtone... Then there must have been a phone somewhere on site. Did CSI report anything like that? No, nothing. They searched the site, but didn't find a single thing. I see. About her aphonia. It didn't go well. But it's not all bad. The sink wasn't a total waste of time. We found clues. Okay. Clues. Right. Do you believe in prophetic dreams, boss? Where is this coming from? <laughs> oh, I see. This is about the body you saw in Mizuki Samyum. Her name is Iris Sagan, the girl you went to Bloom Park with today. How do you know that? Iba told me. It is one of my duties to deliver regular investigation reports. You rat. Bear. I. Okay. Um, are you okay? You didn't answer. 
about Iris's Mizuki, body. I saw something strange in your dream. Iris, she was frozen. She was dead. What was that? Tell me, Mizuki, please. Date, there is no point attempting to speak with her. Mizuki's aphonia has not healed. Hmm. Could I have done something else and healed Mizuki, it? Mizuki, I have to ask you. I'm really curious. You got a Nile message yesterday, and then you went to Bloom Park. Who sent you the message? I checked her phone, but the history was wiped. Mm -hmm. I am trying to identify the sender now, but it will take some time. Okay. How about the ringtone? Hey, Mizuki, tell me something. In your dream world, I heard a phone Keep ring. Looking. Did you hear that somewhere? Or did you just imagine it? Date, there's no point talking to her. You couldn't heal her. Her symptoms haven't improved. She'll be sent back to the hospital. Maybe the doctors can help her. About the ice pack. Mizuki. I'm just going against every time they say it. When we found you at the merry-go-round, you were holding the ice pick. I'm not accusing you of anything. I trust you. I just want to know why you were holding it. Answer Protection. me, Mizuki. Clearly. Maybe. Date, please. Yelling at her is counterproductive. Damn it. Mm. I couldn't help her get her voice back. She's sitting on the chair. She looks drained like an abandoned doll. Prophetic dreams again? Prophecies, huh? That's why you called Iris. But, Date, come on. I know. A dream is just a dream. Doesn't necessarily have anything to do with reality. But still, wow. I just have this gut feeling. Date, are you alright? Perhaps the sink is causing negative side effects. I hope that's all it is. Summarize for me. I think I'll go to Bloom Park again. Looking for the phone? It might be there, it might not. I just want to be sure. Take care of Mizuki, okay? Yeah, leave it to me. Okay. You're gonna let me leave now, huh? Alright. Gonna check some of these files. Won't make you read them. Okay. I, uh, I just wanted to go through a few things that I wasn't, I was interested in looking at. Uh, I didn't even know what this stood for. Photosynaptic neurocoupling. Uh, j just a little thing. And then Aset, you bet, when she was uh, doing that little thing, when they're on the, the couch, and she called out a letter, and he responded, and it just seemed like nonsense. Apparently it's a game she plays with her fans. Yeah, where she creates a special cheer slogan and their fans, for their fans to memorize and chant at concerts. She cheers a word, and they have to come up with two words that rhyme with a set in that category. So, I think that was all that I looked up. Mm, yeah. Oh, also, I had to. I had to answer my own question here. Yes, there are multiple routes. Kind of figured there would be. And I probably totally could have done something different. But we're going to follow this through however I get it to the end. And then I'm going to go back and see the other things. I don't know if I'm like required to do these things. But in uh, some other titles, like uh, Zeroscape, you're kind of required to go down multiple paths. So... Yeah. Oh, I should probably save too. Sure. I don't think I need multiple saves, but you know, just just in case. Considering you have a flow chart flow chart to go back. Alright, we'll do this before we end. Ooh. 
Oh, we're in the car again. Now the news. Yesterday Hi, night, the body of Shoko Nadami was found. Her body was recovered from the now defunct Bloom Park in the Kawasaki district. Autopsy reports revealed that her time of death was roughly 5 p.m. last afternoon. Police have determined that the victim was killed elsewhere and then brought to Bloom Park to be put on display. The MPD has expanded the scope of their investigation and are encouraging anyone with any information to come forward. In other news, at 6.10 p.m. today, on the outer circle of the Capital City Highway in Minato District, Tokyo, a traffic collision occurred involving five cars and at oh. least one truck. As a result of the pileup, one man was sent to the hospital unconscious in critical condition. Only Six one, other individuals were treated for minor injuries. MPD has arrested the driver of the truck suspected to be the cause of the accident for negligence. The investigation is ongoing. Hmm. I mean, a five-car pileup for the truck? Only one severely hurt, and that's somewhat lucky. Uh, why are you like normal looking? We don't we don't need to look at these horse from Mary around. We got a fence, fancy fence. We got the boundary in the control room. Yeah. Uh, last night, Mizuki was found in that column. Why was she in there? Okay. Uh. Scream shrilly. <laughs> Wait, are you a ghost? Idiot. It's me. Who you? Me? A good scream. It's whom? Oh. I said me. But are you a ghost? I'm not a ghost. Then, mm -hmm. Iba? But why? I just thought I would project myself. You seem lonely. How are you doing this? I am overlaying the image your left eye processes with augmented reality. Okay. You can't see me through your right eye, only your left. You can't just pop into my eyeball without permission. You do realize I do that all the time, right? Yeah. How do you appear in Somnium? I am connected to your brain via artificial nerve. I am part of your working brain. Our minds are one. During the sync, when the data that constitutes your ego is transferred, some of my main programming is also transferred. That is why I appear in Somnium. Do I even need to explain this sort of thing to you? I have experienced syncing many times with you. But doesn't he forget Although every time? it is true that I have never appeared to you in this form. Yeah, it's kind of random now. About your appearance. Come to think of it, you look kind of like you do when you're insomnia. What's that about? We just. What do you mean? Well, you don't usually look like that. You have a somnium form and another form. Oh, this? Yes, that. Why are you doing this now? Good question. I was bored last night, so. Huh? I thought you would like it. Why would I like it? Well, AI I get did bored. attempt to shape myself to your preference. If you could do that, change it. Be Reika from Teeth Blau. Okay. I will not. Why not? Because I won't. Okay, fine. About the ringtone. It was somewhere around here, right? Where I heard the phone ring. Affirmative. The source can't be far. The phone must be nearby. I do not know if it actually exists. Dreams consist of memories. But that does not mean that they perfectly mirror reality. In fact, it is more common that what occurs in dreams is distorted. For example, the events witnessed in the last Somnium were absurd, exaggerated, or otherwise warped. Clearly, yep. they do not represent exactly what happened in reality. The ringtone nope. as well. That's exactly what happened in reality. Mizuki didn't necessarily hear it. I understand that. But it's our only lead. And then cut your eye. 
As I mentioned earlier, I cannot say for certain if there was a phone here. However, if there is, it must be well hidden. CSI has already searched the area thoroughly, but they did not discover anything. Well hidden, huh? Maybe a place you can't see with the naked eye. Mm-hmm. I'm looking at you. Do you see anywhere suspicious? Let me see. I need to analyze the surroundings. Okay, do it. I mean, in a different column? Or I guess this is all just one column, yeah. Well, it can't be this horse. Oh, x-ray. It was his buddy. That, that's a phone. Look at that. It appears to be a smartphone. I knew it was in the horse. Don't lie. You doubted me. I said it was in the horse. So how do I get it out? I cannot find any weaknesses or seams in the horse's body. The horse's neck does not detach either. There must be some hole or something. I found one. Where? The mouth of the horse. I might be able to fit inside. One moment. What? Oh, right. You're an eye. I keep forgetting. I got it! You have arms? Yes. Good job, Iva. Well, she really sounded like on there. Uh, well done. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, she sounds a lot more like on there. Iva. Who owned this phone? The number is... I told Iba the number. The results came back quickly. This is a rental phone. A rental? The owner is unknown. It is registered under a false identity. Come on. What? By the way... Do not worry about me. Finish your search and investigation. You should find some clues. Okay. Anything else on this? Date, look at the device history. It's gone. No outgoing call history. What about the incoming history? Only one call. 9.02 p.m. yesterday. Mizuki and Ota discovered the corpse at approximately 9 p.m. Mizuki must have heard this phone. That would connect to what we experienced in Somnium. Okay. Who is the caller? Their name isn't displayed. The number isn't in their contacts. In fact, there are no contacts. No numbers at all. Phone had no email addresses or browsing history that could be a clue either. Just one clue, the call at 902. I had Iba look up the number. This number is also from a rental phone. No mm, owner is registered. Anything else? Oh. No. What happened? The battery died. The screen turned off. Hmm. Okay. Call the number I Iba, gave you. Remember the number I just gave you? Of course. Call it. Hmm. It connected. Uh, my name is Kaname Date. I'm with the Metropolitan Police Department. Are you an idiot? They hung up. Oh. Oh, of course they you did. Think so? <laughs> what kind of low IQ ignoramus calls a suspicious number and says they are from the police? I couldn't help it. I wasn't ready. I, I just said the first thing that came into my head. You told me to call. I didn't think it would work. Disappointing. There is no other word for it. You're telling me. I wasn't very smart of you. <laughs> call it again. Iba, can you call it again? I'll be ready this time, I swear. It's too are you late. Sure? Yeah, trust me. Why would they pick the up again? Is no okay. Damn, call deny. Call deny? Yeah, call denied. Oh, the thing Reka from the Cabaret Club did to your number. Damn, you remember that? Ooh. Call Reka. What? I want to hear her voice. She put you on call deny. Can't you try from another line? I can, but I won't. Use a payphone if you want to call her. Well. 
I don't have my own phone. As long as I'm within range, I can use Ibo to make any call I need to. Whether it's a traditional line or Nile message, I can have Iba help me. Iba is connected to my mind wires wirelessly as well. So even when she's outside of my eye socket, I can talk normally. Hmm, who's the person we called? Probably someone involved in the incident. They hung up as soon as they heard you mention the police, then refused further incoming calls. That behavior is at the very least suspicious. When they put their phone in the horse's mouth. Why was the phone in Unknown, the Unknown, but it does appear to be deliberate. Did the culprit do this, or did someone else? And for what specific purpose? What cell New tower did it connect to? Shinjuku. That's a wide range. Can you tell if they called from a smartphone? They did. I can tell from the number. Does it have GPS? The phone is likely capable of that function, but it has been disabled. The mm -hmm. power also appears to be off. I cannot connect from any line because you blew it. You blew it. Let's go. Iba, let's get going. There's nothing more here. Where are we going? Iris's house? Yeah, I'm curious. About your prophecy? Absurd. It was nothing. Let's hope so. Okay, but what about, should we go to Shinjuku? There would be no point to that now. The recipient is alerted to our presence and likely on the move. Right. Yeah, that's true. Okay. What are we... Alright. A little short, but... This seems like a good time to end it here. Now that we've uh, done another sync thing and explored uh, Somnium, got to see some actual mechanics. And I don't know if the route I chose was the right one or not. Or if there is even a right one. I don't know. These, these visual novel branching paths usually kind of blend with each other. I hope. <laughs> Otherwise, I just made a big mistake, and we're going to follow that mistake straight down to the end. But, yeah. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.